Hello boxing fans, right now I am just continuing my following of Chris Eubank Jr. on this very good prospect that we're watching come up the ranks. Right now he is 7-0 with 3 knockouts and this will be his 8th fight against the guy called Matt Haney and this fight will be happening on the Tyson Fury undercard. Uh, looking through this fight, I'm not going to go through all, all of the advantages that he tried to bring to the ring because domestically when you're a, when you're a prospect you're fed up a load of competition which is limited on how they're going to try and beat you and um, basically Haney has good experience in this fight you know he's been in the ring with some top quality domestic competition and he does come to win he's fourth as high as 168 pounds but he was stopped that night by Tony Jeffries who since then has had to retire from professional boxing due to awful hand problems He's also been in there with the likes of Mark Conception, who's, who also knocked him out, dropping him no more than four times in that fight, which shows maybe he can have a few issues with the chin. And I'm going to go into Chris Eubank Jr. right now. You know, when you look at the guy's power, he does seem to be a decent boxer puncher. He does land nice, clean shots. He doesn't have that type of one-punch power that the likes of uh, Golovkin people like that will have, yeah? But I, I have a good feeling that the longer these fights go on, I think the more his punches will hurt his opponents over the long distance, and therefore he'll wear his opponents down and stop them over the 12 round distance. Because he doesn't seem to be getting that many over, set over you know, sorry, uh, four rounds, you see. They seem to be able to just do enough to hang on to survive the rest of the round and regroup, well, and survive the rest of the fight. So, it'll be good to see how he does when his opponents have to really consider that they're going to have to survive the full 12 rounds. That'll be a good thing to think about. Uh, looking at the boxing ability for Eubank Jr., and I really do think this guy is something special domestically right now. He's a very diverse and versatile type of fighter. I think there's only one domestic guy who can match him right now, and that will obviously be Billy Joe Saunders, who is the British and Commonwealth t uh, champion, defending it against Nick Blackwell. Um, Eubank Jr. can fire off a decent and fast snapping jab. He can also work off that. And he likes to switch between working the head and body. Like I said, nice fast hands. That's always something great. And he can be shocking with just how, how fast and effectively he can adjust his hands and his feet uh, to land a good clean shot on his opponent. Like I said, the only downside to Chris Eubank Jr. is that he doesn't have that one-punch knockout power that someone like his dad used to have. Well, another thing he does have is great movement, slick, slick movement. Uh, also, a great high work rate. That's going to be hard for his opponents to outwork him over the distance. So, I think, really, domestically, this guy is the total package. And I like to see how how he does, really, against top-level opposition domestically. And then I could, I'd like to see him move on to European level. And then we'll see if he can be promoted in the right way to a world title. You know, Hennessy did get people such as Carl Frotch to a world title eventually. So, he can get them there. It's just, we wonder if the likes of Chris Eubank Jr. can win the title once he's there. We'll have to wait and see, really. But, overall, I expect Chris Eubank Jr. to win this fight. Probably by a way of knockout. And then I'd like to see him move on to, to fight for a, maybe the English title or a, one of the different domestic straps. Right now, Nick Blackwell does hold the English title, but he is fighting um, Billy Joe Saunders. So we'll see if he wants to vacate that title. That would be a good possibility for him. And if that's the case, maybe we'll see the likes of Chris Eubank Jr. versus Martin Conception. I think that would be a decent fight. There are other guys in that division who could really challenge for the domestic title. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I think it will be a good journey with this Chris Eubank Jr. character. 